Hey guys, it's Samantha. If you saw my last video, you know that I had surgery. I keep asking my pain scale. I don't know the answer. I had a partial mastectomy slash lumpectomy to get out the tumor that was in my breast and the cancer that was in some of the lymph nodes. So I got my results and there's three main points to talk about. The first thing that they found is that there was still some invasive cancer that was left in the tumor in the breast. The chemo hadn't completely killed all of it. It was broken into three tumors, 19 millimeters, 6 millimeters, and 9 millimeters. Um, if you'd seen some of my previous videos, you know that originally the tumor mass that they saw uh, was 3.5 by 3.5 centimeters, or 35 millimeters. So it is a lot smaller. It's unclear whether there were separate tumors the whole time or if the chemo had gone in and had sort of a Swiss cheese effect on the tumor and just broke it up into three separate smaller pieces. All of the invasive cancer that was found was clear of the margins, which was good. But don't celebrate yet because the second point is that there was some DCIS ductal carcinoma in situ still in the margins. Some people will call this cancer, some people will call this precancer, uh, non-invasive cancer, but you know, whatever you call it, it needs to come out. So yeah. It looks like Which, normal tissue, but it might not be. Right, because it would have the it would have the ductal carcinoma the in situ yeah. left. So we have to wait and see. I really hope it's fine because I don't want to do this again. There was some DCIS found too close to the edge of what they took out in the six o'clock margin and the deep margin. This basically means that I need to go and get more stuff removed, which I'm going to be doing today. If there was a bunch of invasive cancer or DCIS in a bunch of the margins, I would have had to go in and get a full mastectomy on that left side, but it's only in two of the margins and with the six o'clock margin, the surgeon said that she had almost removed all the breast tissue up till the muscle, so she's pretty confident that she can just go back in and remove all the breast tissue up to the muscle and she can get that taken care of. So there's really only the deep margin that has any question. So she's very confident that a lumpectomy is still the best option for me to conserve the breast and um, make it so that I can move on to radiation therapy as fast as possible. And the third point has to do with lymph nodes. If you watched my surgery video, you heard me talk about a sentinel node injection. Basically what that means is some blue dye was injected that travels through the lymph nodes so that it's really easy for the surgeon to see um, which lymph nodes things may have traveled to first. At the time of surgery, four sentinel nodes were removed and two of those had biopsy clips in them, which means that they were the two nodes that I had originally biopsied back in March that were found to have cancer in them. Only one of the nodes of the four that they took out during surgery had cancer in it, and the one had a biopsy clip in it, so it was the one, one of the nodes that we already knew about and the other node that had the clip in it um, didn't have any cancer in it, so the chemo had gotten rid of it in that node. So the doctor had to make a decision on whether to remove more lymph nodes. There was evidence that the chemo had worked um, in that one lymph node, but since there was still cancer in one of the nodes she removed, she decided to go ahead and remove all of my level 1 and level 2 lymph nodes. I took out the level 1 and the level 2. <sighs> That's stupid. She even felt around the level 3 lymph nodes and uh, she checked and she made sure that nothing felt abnormal and nothing did, so she left those and they really want to avoid uh, removing those because it can cause other problems. But not the threes. Yeah, well they already said they weren't going to do that. Well, sometimes they do. In total, eight additional nodes were removed and checked for cancer after the surgery. Of those eight, one came back positive uh, for cancer. It's unclear how many nodes had cancer in them before chemotherapy, but um, it was a very good decision that the surgeon made to remove all those nodes because obviously 
there was cancer still left in one of them. So that's a positive also. So my surgery was on Monday and we found all this out on Wednesday. I'm so incredibly thankful to have a team of doctors that is working really hard to get my results to me as fast as possible so that we can move forward. Um, it's now Friday and my second surgery is scheduled for today and I'm really thankful they were able to schedule that really quickly. Having two surgeries in one week isn't really fun but at least we're moving as quickly as possible and trying to stay ahead of the cancer. I know you guys won't be seeing this video until after my second surgery. I'm sorry I'm kind of behind on uploads but as you can tell from this video, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Things are pretty crazy. Also, I accidentally cut out a clip from my surgery video where I showed my drain. So if you want to see that, um, I have it in this pocket of this shirt. That's what it looks like. It just drained stuff out. There's not that much left because it's been a while. Um, if you didn't want to see that, I'm sorry, hopefully you looked away from your screen. So that's all. Make sure to subscribe if you want to support me on my cancer adventures and check out other videos if you liked this one. As always, leave a comment below if you have any questions and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Bye! Wow, my eyebrows are disappearing.